Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and as per an article on comicbookmovie.com from a little earlier today, um, there is some big stuff happening in DC Comics, uh, at least big stuff to me, uh, because I am a longtime He-Man and the Masters of the Universe fan, and uh, I'm not an uber fan where I could like name off every character by name and uh, voice actors and stuff like that, like some people, but I'm big you know, uh, Motu fan. So, um, it, you know, I remember growing up, I watched the cartoon, I had the action figures, and uh, I did like the newer animated series that they did. And uh, basically what this is telling us is DC Comics, which has had the New 52 going on for a while now, and uh, until, you know, poor circumstances kind of got in the way, I was liking, you know, the majority of the books that I was reading along those lines, and uh, but now I can't really follow it anymore at the moment. Uh, but as of July, they are going to be launching a new take on He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, which is kind of interesting how they're going to be doing it. Um, per this article, they're talking about Skeletor basically finding a way to rewrite time, the history of Eternia, and making himself essentially the ruler of Greyskull. Um, all of our usual heroes will actually be sort of uh, demoted, if you will, to just common peasants. Um, you know, in the case of Adam, he will no longer be, you know, the Prince of Eternia. He'll be a lowly woodsman who dreams of wielding a sword and, you know, swords and sorcery and stuff like that. And uh, just thinks it's, you know, in his dreams alone. Um, until he will be visited by a mysterious sorceress that will sort of awaken a epic journey you know, unfold, unfolded before him. And uh, basically to reclaim, I guess, Eternia. And I really dig this sort of almost, if you will, New 52 take on the the He-Man thing. Um, it's not saying that the, you know, universe as we know and love it is gone. Um, I, I think by the end of it, it will probably be restored. That's kind of where I think, you know, the story would end up going. But um you know, with these 80s properties, when they bring back stuff like the Thundercats, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff like that, um, these are things I remember. I mean, I'm not an uber fan with any of these properties where I know every last little detail like I might with Doctor Who or uh, something like it. But I, I have just such a deep fondness for these properties. And for DC to be, you know, sort of uh, bringing this six-issue mini out... Um, it's just something I'm really excited for. So uh, I just wanted to share that article with you guys and my thoughts on it. I'm really, really excited, and I'd love to hear what you think of it. So, um, you know, as I say, check out the link in the description below if you're curious. And otherwise, that'll be it for me. So I'll catch you later. Peace.